to the latest Geekbench CPU results and Samsung records earth-shaking changes Samsung Galaxy S23 line for Europeans the jump in performance should be particularly noticeable thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 overclocked chipset, we all know that Galaxy S23 series will get Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 worldwide but do you know that Samsung will have a special version of it just for the Galaxy S23 lineup? Yes the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 inside the S23 series will have overclock CPU and overclock GPU. For the CPU the speeds are at 3.36 GHz from 3.2 on the normal 8 General 2 and surprisingly same thing for the GPU which is now at 719 MHz compared to 680 on the normal version. There's already been confirmed that the 8 Gen 2 will have the best gaming performance in fact beating the likes of iPhone 14 Pro Max which is the current champion. According to the leaked screen protectors of the Galaxy S23 series we can see that the cutout for the fingerprint scanner has the same size as the S22 liner, meaning the ultrasonic scanner will remain the same size and is probably going to be the same generation as well as the Galaxy S22 lineup. This is not a bad thing in itself, the Galaxy S22 Ultra was fitted with a very quick Qualcomm 3D Sonic Sensor Gen 2 fingerprint rear which takes a three-dimensional snapshot of the user's fingers and however there have been rumors in the past that the Galaxy S23 Ultra would receive an upray in the form of Qualcomm's 3D Sonic Max in-display fingerprint sensor. Samsung sells over 50 million flagship phones every year which is 10 times more than their closest rival. The fact that Samsung is giving up their own Exynos chip in favor of Snapdragon means Qualcomm's business will increase dramatically. So Qualcomm is returning the favor by giving Samsung a superior chipset which is great news for Samsung users. The chipset also brings support for hardware accelerated ray tracing the Snapdragon platform that adds more lifelike light reflections and illuminations to mobile games, with major chipset vendors providing ray tracing hardware for Android. And we may finally see mobile game developers take advantage of the new technology in the same way they have PC and console games. So, without been said, let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, peace out.